And we're back. Back in at it, please. Started off with the violence. Violence. You know what I'm saying? If if you're on the if you're unfamiliar with with that sound, that was the sound of um, a couple of ray guns going off. We had to shoot some, <laughs> you know, extraterrestrial. Some Star Wars shit. Where some extraterrestrial insurgents just try to come pew. in. Everybody but we're cool. Died. And this is. It was just a Jamaican gun finger. <laughs> plow, 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 plow. Otherwise known as a, <laughs> the Jamaican gun figure. If you guys see any kind of inter- intergalactic foe going towards you, point your two fingers at them and yell bang and see what happens. Bang. Like so. Yes. They will be so confused <laughs> and Word. angry that they'll Thumb probably point kill you. Word. upward. Word. <laughs> Our attackers are completely telepathic, so this will f- either frighten them or cause them to uh, implode under their own anxiety. <laughs> Yikes. Right. Yeah, so sounds with like that a diagnosis. <laughs> word, with that being said, it sounds like you studied. Thank me later when the apocalypse doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you later. <laughs> this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Sand the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. Oh, I guess it's me. Um, it's Dramatic, <laughs> aka Way Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Wavy McBeard, aka Nigga Need a Haircut. And you know it's your boy. <laughs> this is Black Dynamite, aka I'm just gonna say Swiss Arm and Digger. Swiss Arm and Digger. Swiss Arm and Digger. To the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the. the <laughs> Swiss Arm and Digger. But I'm bum. Yeah. And that's, then the sitcom. That's, uh, that's exactly what I was saying. Word. That's that's the song that plays right through the end, through Word. the opening credits. Word. Hey, this is what you're going to do when they show your name when on I, the credits? When I walk into the house. Word. <laughs> the, the, the curtain's going to come up and you're just going to walk out the back. And everybody starts Club, clapping. Yeah. Ah! You're going to have you gonna have one big utility belt on. <laughs> it's, it's you like know, that's going to perfectly segue into your, our topic. Your whole outfit is a utility belt. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, do you need all that to be a man? Mm. Is that what do man really is? needed? Yeah. Do you need all that? I mean, it's probably useful to be able to fix shit around the house, just saying. Oh, no, no. I mean, practically, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but you, figuratively. But, but do, do you, you really need it? No. Because <laughs> what really makes a man? Mm hmm. So, yes, what we're talking about today, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and, girls, and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know what I'm saying? Dudes and dudettes. Dudettes. Dude Niggas and, dudettes. and niggettes. It's a niggerette. You know what I'm saying? For our. Niggerettes? Yeah. For say like a loose leaf cigarette. Shout for, our vid- for our visitors from I outer my space, black queens to blue clocks and flicks <laughs> clocks. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sorry, I, I, I mispronounced <laughs> that. You know, I don't have three tongues. I'm sorry. But. Um, <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no, they got three tongues. It's weird. Um, what? You don't know what you I'm talking it. about. You know? Anyway, continue. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm just giving out MIB shit. They're about to kick me out. But, um, <laughs> yeah, toxic masculinity. Toxic <laughs> masculinity. masculinity. Let me let me put Bring a, that slide back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about... To- cause T- tell them what toxic masculinity, that masculinity is. Pretty much like any any toxic behavior that um people associate with being a man like you know that that sense of bravado that sense yeah. of you got to resort to like certain, like a nigga can't step on your shoes without you reacting a whoa, dude can't, whoa 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 a bad example a dude can't <laughs> do some we we see a perfect example of it right to, <laughs> to my right you to know? my left <laughs> sidebar is it possible to it happen at sidebar is it anyway to have toxic sidebars? Wow. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> no, the, the way he explained it, mm. like, you know, he said the typical things to be a man. Mm-hmm. Can, like, can that be used for, like, other things? Like, people who try to be, like, certain ways, like, you know, just throw a name out there, Drake. He uses toxic Jamaicanism. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, I think, hold on, no, no, no. We, get, we get too loose. <laughs> no, toxic masculinity in general. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. It's basically anything that doesn't do anything but create issues for all parties involved. That thing that so, you act as a result of your pride, whether it mm. be, um, oh, I can't let this nigga punk me, mm. as in what Sir Black Stanley was saying before, like, what does that even mean, like, to get punk? Like, what does that mean? Does that mm-hmm. mean that you, you know, a nigga looked at you the wrong way or bumped into you and mm-hmm. you felt a way about it? And because you felt upset about it, you needed to have not, one over on that person. Word. I not even, not even felt upset because 
and this has happened to me before too. It's usually like, out of embarrassment. True, and it's it's uh, other it's, people. It's a it's a reaction that you're expected to have. Mm. Exactly, you know what I'm saying yeah. somebody, but you're expected to do this. You're expected to, you know, what I'm saying get angry and mm-hmm. walking away is seen as a weakness type of thing. You know, which in actuality, you know, what I mean, it's a strength. Yeah, it's, Jesus it's, walked over many things. Where like when you look at it's really the weak niggas that like even even when you think on your days back in high school, when people were like you know trying to egg on a fight. And mm-hmm. somebody would say something, man. It wouldn't even be that bad, or someone would do something, and people would go, "Oh!" So mm-hmm. because other people reacted, you felt you had to react, and weak people reacted, and it was me sometimes, you know, like you'd <laughs> you'd react out of weakness because you feel like that's what you of, had to do. Yeah, that's what you had to do. Mm-hmm. It would take the stronger person to be like, "Nah, I'm not gonna react. I walk away, regardless of what your other what your peers were saying." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, to be more specific, I googled toxic masculinity because you know it's 2018. Mm-hmm. Uh, toxic masculinity is thus defined by adherence to traditional male gender roles that restrict the kinds of emotions allowable for boys and men to express, including social expectations that men seek to be dominant. You know, in parentheses, the alpha male. Mm. And limit their emotional range primarily to expressions of anger. Mm. It's a good way to... P- oh, sorry. Put the mic up. All right. Yeah. And it's like... It's it's being perpetuated like throughout everything. Because even... Even um, you'd hear some women say that they only want a man if he's XYZ. I saw... <laughs> that reminds me... the mo- This has to be the most basic shit I read on the internet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, fuck it, man. Just leave it. Because by the time we get that right, you know what I'm saying? It's 15 minutes into the episode. I'm sorry. Goddamn. Yo, dog, you got scolded. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. you just let that nigga scold you. Oh. oh. But hey, see, you better tap into I'm that not going to respond because I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? You know you're upset. Fight that nigga. <laughs> what? what? I'm just going to cry what? myself to sleep. No, I'm kidding. What, what was that? that oh, yeah. not talk. Because even... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Say? I saw most one of the most basic shits I've, I've read all day. And I was like, I, I unfollowed this girl immediately because I don't like to read basicness. Um, yeah. She tweeted. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going lo- lo- to I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosely quote, quote this. She said, your man attends the party. My man shoots up the party. We are not the same, sis. Oh, that was her status. Oh. So I'm like, I've seen shit like that before. Word. I'm like, first of all, in your little example, both y'all basic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, both, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, you're both still partying. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got the man in the party, but like mm-hmm. the one, I have a pro- like one. You just bragging on what your nigga do, and that's just lame. Yeah, a, when you don't do as shit. A, as a as a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh, don't. Don't try to ride my coattails. Bring, yeah, some, bring be, some shit. Yeah, if, be if you wanna if you wanna brag on some hood shit. Okay, we don't know. No, what no, she bring, no, 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 no. But what I'm saying, I'm making this point. If you wanna brag on some hood shit, or if you wanna brag on anything, do it yourself. Don't brag on because your nigga did it. That's kind of and lame. that's low key snitch. No, that's, that's high key snitch. High key snitch. That is the one that's true. The I would I would snitching. I would never want a woman to be like my man does this and that. I'm like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? What do you bring to the table? But anyway. That's and, if, life. and if you're gonna brag on some thug shit, talking about you man shoot up this, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? You Who? just snitched on him. That's yeah, what you word. Did. So it's like stop doing that, cause yeah. like you hustling backwards. Word, cause at the end of the day, some young nigga will read that and be like, oh, that's, that's what, what these chicks like. <laughs> yeah. Word, word. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not to use yeah. that as a scapegoat or not to use that as an excuse, but like you know. I mean, think when about you're, what you're contributing to a, the world. A, you're putting this shit online. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Don't be like these niggas shooting each other. But then when you say or you you like, the, you know what I'm saying? Like you add into the problem too. <laughs> but and even just to to bring it back, because we gonna put the ultimate onus on like men and keep having responsibility for themselves. Um, like we we take value in the, the wrong things, and it and it's perpetuated. Yeah. In so many parts of our yeah. lives, you well, know what I'm saying. In, in the media, um, we got to be this way. Mm-hmm. In society, we got to be this way. If some, if if especially black men. Yeah, yeah. Like but, when it comes when it comes to the black community, you know, 
and I, I don't know if it's more black men than black women or just black people overall, mental health is not really a topic that people touch on regularly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's always something, like I've literally, literally heard black people, Caribbean too, mm -hmm. they're, they're not, not at fault here, mm -hmm. say, oh, you're not depressed. You just something. Yeah, shut yeah, up yeah. and da da da. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It don't fucking work like that. Word. And that's why your cousin kill himself and you don't know why. Because you didn't talk to him. Word. And I, I don't mean to get morbid, but shit like that happens. Word. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and they just see it as a like like a nigga can't be depressed. Like look seriously. You can't cry. It's like Paul Mooney. It's not like Paul Mooney. A nigga can't be depressed. Word. I but, can't be depressed. But then it it, it, <laughs> like, it, what the fuck? it don't even have to go as far as depression. No, no, I'm just a, making the point. No, yeah, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. But even as a as a as a child. When you mm -hmm. start crying, what they tell you to do? Man, Man up. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was, so it's like, you can't even say, this hurts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hurt. Yeah. So when you do hurt, you don't tell nobody or you just swallow it it's like until the, it explodes on somebody. It's like they're mm -hmm. trying to create serial killers or something, dog. That shit is wild to me. Like, you know I, mean? I don't want to hang around anyone that bottles up their emotions. I got to know whether you sad, happy, straight. Yeah, for real. F like, you got to let me know. Like, that's that's not... That's not no like it's not but then, but normal then, though. But then like, we all we all do to a certain extent. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying we don't. They, they, I know I do. Yeah. Growing up, I, I was. We're taught, I was like that. Weird. We're taught you know? not to express ourselves, yeah. and when we want to express ourselves, we don't know how to express ourselves. And we gotta express it in a certain way. Word. You know what I'm saying? As to not be. Oh, you angry? Go what? bust a nut, nigga. Just have some sex. You be straight. Word. All right. What if I go fuck ten chicks? And I still want to kill myself. Where I go next? <laughs> but even <laughs> like what is even how? Cause like even how you express and you gotta let people express themselves how they express themselves. If somebody's angry and riffing mm -hmm. and just talking, you can't take offense to what they said. To where now they have to tiptoe around you just to vent. True, true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you're supposed to listen. You're supposed to, you know. So you you you'll be talking. You might say something, and why are you saying it like that? So and so. That's not really your problem. People love to try to have an answer for your problem. Like, when if, most of the time they just need to listen. Word. If yeah. somebody's venting to you, that means there's no. That means that the issue isn't e easily solved. Like if I came to you and said, "Look, I'm going through this." Help me. Mm. That's different. But he said, look, I need a vent. I just need to talk. Yeah. Just, like, talk to them. Don't try to, well, this is or, what you don't know. Fucking listen or, to me. Or try to simplify what they're going through. Yeah. All you need to do, because that my folks, my folks are notorious for that. That's hella I'm doing it. Oh, like, Man. especially, like, she'll be like, um, oh, let me, let me fix all your problems right now. And then she'll give me some, like, <laughs> simple explanation of what I need to do. I'm like, if, if my, if my problems are that simple, I wouldn't be, to this Where point right now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. it's so take people's issues, even no no matter how little you might think it is, mm -hmm. take it seriously. Because a exactly. lot of times what they're telling you is what they're telling you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's really um, getting at them. Because sometimes people don't know. Mm -hmm. Some people are trying to get to what's bothering them. So mm -hmm. as they vent, sometimes what they're venting about isn't really the issue, but they don't know that. It's right. just on the top of their mind right now. True, They're like true. this, this, this. So you trying to be like, oh, but you need a da 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 da. You're not helping because right now you're stuck, and that person right. just get more and more frustrated. Precisely, mm. and that is not helping the issue at right. all. Right. Um, uh, bef um, to go along with this topic, mm. uh, somebody's mentioned it to me. Terry mm. Crews, mm -hmm. you know what he's going through. Yeah, he was, what? He was um. Oh, you know, oh, you know. <laughs> he was oh, yeah. sexually assaulted by like a yeah. Hollywood producer. Yeah, and everybody's first reaction: you ain't punch that nigga in the face. You Word. Ain't drop yeah. that nigga. Word. Toxic All right, masculinity. Understand. <laughs> yeah, understand. Terry Crews is a man with a family and a wife. He's been in Hollywood for a long time. He's been an actor. He's been on successful movies, TV shows, da da da. Mm -hmm. Imagine him just throwing that all away mm -hmm. instead of. Like, if he would have knocked him out or whatever, he would have got himself in trouble instead of getting the real perpetrator in yeah. trouble. This is why he's doing this, so he can highlight that these niggas are pieces of shit. Because right, if yeah. you would have punched him in the face, all that, what happened to him would have been angry thrown out the man. window. Angry he would have been an angry man. black man. Mm. He would have been in prison, and we would have been free Terry Crews, da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? But he took the other route. He's mm. attacking the attacker. But then and that's even, what you're supposed to do. Word, but even we as people, we make fun of that. You know yeah, and they're sickening. Like, yeah, why? He needs us in his most desperate time. You making fun of him? Where? Because it's like, why didn't you stand up for yourself? He did, and he's doing it. He's you doing know what I'm saying? Now. So it's like, <laughs> it's not a, it's not a, just one and done thing. 
Exactly. Why, why didn't you beat him up? Like, okay, I beat him up. What happened? He go molest the next person. Th- yeah. They don't think about that. They don't think about Word, that. But then, and that's yeah. a, that's a, um selfishness is a, a is a lot of that too. Word. Mm-hmm. And people love to like see people's situation. Be like, oh, I would have did this because this is the cool thing. This oh, is a cool way to react. That's some niggas that would have ran away from Massa and shit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. man. Massa, all right, nigga. Massa can't talk that shit to me, nigga. Word. I don't know about you. I seen the way he whipped your ass. Word, I would have never did that. I would have never stood there and took that all shit. Right. Next niggas, day, niggas, niggas next day nigga, they're like, ah! <laughs> ah! I ain't doing shit. <laughs> niggas are like, oh, man, you right, man. Fuck these crackers, man. Niggas with these powerful ass keyboards that talking about- That is a fucked up joke. <laughs> talking about, oh, we, I would have, I would have, I would have, you wouldn't have- You wouldn't have did shit. You would have been right next to me what? talking the same shit. Because, Ten- like, you, you, imagine you at a party, right? Uh-huh. A lot of people are there, a lot of your peers are there, a lot of professionals are there. And a lot of, like, the way, a lot of, a lot of this, the, the way the entertainment business works is networking. Totally weird. Mm-hmm. Is networking. You might be out somewhere- and see somebody and they're like, oh, you know, I got a Take part for number. you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Or I'm, work, nah, nah. I'm working on a project, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or, you know, these things happen at these type of events. Mm-hmm. So he's there not only just to like smooth and blah, blah, blah. He's mm-hmm. there to network, further his career. And his wife was with him when it happened. And his bro. wife was with him. Word. So imagine that happened, pushes a dude off. Imagine he makes a scene. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. people don't think about, people don't think, period. Why, no. why get assaulted? And then make it even worse on yourself. Word. You already got assaulted. Word. Like, people don't understand that. They're, they're just, like, take away that he's a big 6'3", 280-pound black man. He was assaulted. Mm, yeah. mm. And if he would have assaulted back, it would have been double bad on him. Word. Because he got assaulted, and now he's locked up. Word. Like, you, you or, just a nigga or, that got molested or, and got locked or up. Or he, he, he destroys his case it's, now. It's, his case is cor- mm-hmm. He tweeted this. He said, um, he, he said, why didn't you say anything? He said, why did you say something? I did. Why didn't you push him off? I did. Why didn't you cuss him out? I did. Why didn't you tell the police? I did. Why did you press charges? I did. Why did you just let it happen? I didn't. Why didn't you beat him up? And then he put sigh. Mm. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all yeah. niggas just don't understand. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, it's, I don't know, man. Like, it's it's just, I mean, I could, I, like, from a man's standpoint, I, I, I kind of understand where they're coming from on some, you know, defend yourself, defend your honor, da da da. Mm. But there's a right and there's a wrong way to Word. do everything. If you really want to defend your honor, defend yourself, lock this motherfucker up. Word. So he won't do it to you again. He don't do it to anybody else again. Mm. That's the ultimate revenge. Word. You punch him once, mm. he'll have a black eye for two weeks, and he's still going to be a rich Hollywood exec. Word. Lock him up so he can be punished. Word. That's what I'm saying. Like, Word. that's and- what people don't understand. Mm. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, like, no, you're right. You're right. And people just like, people just teach their, their like, I want, I wanted to say this, like, like, parents, because mm-hmm. it starts here. It always starts at home. You know what I'm saying? Number one, stop telling your kids if 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 somebody hit you, hit them back, without a further guidance. If you just say that. A kid's gonna brush past him and he's just gonna slap him. Yeah, I've you seen know? it. Yeah, <laughs> I see it all the time. But then that you 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 want to tell your your child or even not even just parents because we said that all the time. Because I I see I see um like whenever you know what I'm saying you're a group of guys there's a little boy around you wanna they they wanna say oh you gonna be tough da 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 they want you know what I'm saying if yeah, you fuck, push <laughs> you know what I'm saying they wanna Show them tough love, want to be tough. The whole thing is being tough, being tough, being tough. But they don't really, they don't, they don't teach you how, like, they don't teach you how to circumvent life from mm-hmm. an emotional standpoint. Only they, it's only toughness or yeah. what you Suck don't get up. Word, just don't keep it moving. Word, or don't let don't let mm-hmm. people get over and you. Don't pe- let people get advantage. But that translates to. You constantly on the attack and defense mode. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen things where people would have situations where they'll go off, and in their mind they're just be, they're being strong. You know what I'm saying? You're not mm-hmm. gonna da da. And I like you know w- whether it be some customer service or mm-hmm. some kind of thing, they'll just go in and wanna be here. And you could see had they treated the situation differently, they would have gone through a lot smoother. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's another thing. Like, um, I, I like, think I, and it's just misplaced anger, and it's anger for anger's sake. Exactly. You like, your saying? anger's you're, not helping word, you. Word. Which is your which what you're trying to do now? You're trying to help yourself. Word. You're, and anger's you're doing exactly the opposite. Word. You're cussing out this person on the phone because you feel like that's what's necessary to get your business done. Nope. And you're stronger for cussing them to get your business done. Like, mm-hmm. no. You know what I'm saying? You have to deal with individual by individual base. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like. If you have a problem with the company, that person isn't your enemy. Mm-hmm. It's like, look, the company's doing this, 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 this. How can you help me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, mind you, mind you, if somebody disrespects you, you know what I'm saying? Like, even in a respectful way, you could, you could, you could stand up for yourself without getting a certain way, without no, stepping out your element. Of course. You know what I'm saying? And without, you could say, look, I don't, I don't appreciate, you know this you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. hey i'd rather you not do that you know what i'm saying and if it comes to fisticuffs then it but, comes to but, fisticuffs. But, I, but, a lot but that of, shouldn't be the initial reaction that's but, what you're saying yeah but yeah. a lot of times niggas wouldn't have gotten beat up with niggas wouldn't have died yeah. had the reaction been hey i don't i don't you know i don't appreciate that yeah I'm like hey chill out with the, this or i don't like how you're saying that you know what i'm saying there, yeah. there's a like I said earlier, there's a right way and a wrong way to do everything. Trust me. Word, I'm bringing this population would be a lot a lot less if we handled everything like that. Bro. Nigga touch me, kill him, bop, bop, bop. It'd be like a thousand people on earth right now. Hell yeah. We need to, <laughs> exactly. bro, bro, we need to start giving props to these gunmen, these, these quote-unquote gangsters. However, so, however, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Mm-hmm. It's an unfortunate truth. It is nothing... I mean, you probably can change it, but it's unfortunate truth. In some places, that's how you have to operate. Nah, I, I don't. No, know no, no. I, I knew you were gonna say nah, mm. but you don't know that. Like, certain places, you always have a choice of how you behave, of how you put yourself. So you so think it, slavery was a choice? I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. But um, <laughs> all right. But at the same time, they kind of cause it to themselves. You get in this. You get in this life. Mm-hmm. Where the only option is to kill or be killed. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's no, the a, yeah. choice is not to get in that life. But once yeah. you're in it, you're in it. Yeah, and that that you have to understand. That's real. <laughs> you know what but, I'm saying? But <laughs> even even in, even in that. Sorry, about being too loud. <laughs> even 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 in that environment, you know what I'm saying? Like you're like, hey man, I don't. No, appre- I don't. In some appre- environments, there's no hey man, my nigga. I I, I don't. Appre- <laughs> I don't. <laughs> listen, look. Um, you could be like, hey man, I don't appreciate how you shorted me on my crack. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now, hey man, hey man, now you've been serving me for a while now, <laughs> and I rather not turn to violence. So let's not make a habit <laughs> of shorting me on my coke. Okay? <laughs> There's always a way I to do this. I can tell you've never listened to Wu Tang. <laughs> I've heard a ghost face slapping crackheads in the crack house like that means shit. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the back to the. No, nah, I'm I'm, I'm yeah. playing, but but <laughs> but yeah, like again, again, if you put yourself in an aggressive environment, well, not well. Hold on, let me not even say that because some some people just are in aggressive. That's environment. what I'm saying. But look, but look, but look. it's a it's an unfortunate no, but, truth. But there's a, there, there's a there's. It's an it's an unfortunate. It's, it's, it's but, no, it's, no, but you're right, and, yeah. and 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 those environments are aggressive because that's the mm-hmm. only way they learn. So it's not even necessarily because they have to because they're in that environment because it's a learned behavior. You know what I mean? I true, mean, true. Yeah. No, that's true. But um, Swiss Army nigga wanted to say something. I wanted to say something? Yeah, you did. All right, nigga, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't talking about shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm like, no, all right. So I think I heard a lot of talking, but <laughs> did we ask the real question, like, what it means to be a man to you? That's I, I'm glad. Yeah, we should talk about that. What does what? Because we say we say a lot of what a man. We've been is ranting yeah. about really, yeah, but let's but say what's the real issue? What's the like, real like? What's the real issue? Niggas don't know how to be vulnerable. Mm. They don't know how to feel shame. Yes, they don't know how to work through those feelings and say, "Damn, like, why do I feel this way?" and and then work through those feelings i feel like i'm being very vague but basically that that point of vulnerability is when you're able to say you know what, i'm gonna let go of my pride and instead of feeling like i need to 
punch this nigga in his face or do some shit, mm. I could just decide to say it's not that big a deal. I had a plan for tonight. Mm. I want that plan to continue. And this person, I don't even know them, probably never see them again. I'm not going to let that interrupt me. Word. So, all right, man, whatever. Word. Walk away. I've done it a lot of times. Mm, same here. I don't even remember what these niggas look like. Mm, but that yeah. could have ended my life. That could have, you know, exactly. some. And I've seen it happen with people I know, mm. family, stuff like that. So, I guess, you know, wise men learn from the mistakes of others and shit like that, too. But mm. it's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, You're right. um, like, you got to you gotta be able to say, be comfortable with, you know, I, my, I may feel small right now, mm. but it's not the case. Mm-hmm. Like, that's really not the case when you look at the whole picture. It's just a temporary feeling. Mm. You have to yeah, deal with it's it. exactly. It's temporary. Mm. Or, exactly. And um, a- along with that, like, what's ironic about it is a man is supposed to do, let me not, let me not be broad with this statement, but what he wants. Like, what he, he's supposed to be the control of his own destiny type thing. Mm-hmm. So why are, you, why are you letting society's idea of being a man control you? Mm-hmm. It's kind of contradictory, right? Yep, yep. You want to be a man, but you letting other niggas tell you how to be people a man. Are, but people aren't that your own man. Yeah. People aren't that deep, though. Word. Most Unfortunately. People, like, oh, no idea is new under the sun and all that stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some new ideas out there. Word. Stuff that's never been thought of before. So, uh, actually, uh, no. no. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> There's all. It's side. always a another reiterate iteration, not mm-hmm. reiteration, but another iteration of something that may have come before. But either way, no one can think of things the way you do because Precisely. you have a unique mind. Precisely. How you perceive things, your experience is entirely your own through your entire life. So whatever you can contribute can possibly be something completely different from anything anyone else would create. Word. I forgot why I was saying that. Word. <laughs> yeah, like those are some wide I, words. Word. Wise words from the Swiss Army Navy. I want I, all I, time, I, baby. I'm about to go back to sleep. I'll let y'all. Word. <laughs> what what I want to say. What what I want to say real quick is that um for the, this is for the young niggas. I always send send a message out oh, for young niggas. I don't I don't even know if they're listening because you know bloods, young, you know what I'm saying. Call them young bloods. You know what I'm saying because oh, wow. you know young niggas don't like to listen. But I'm gonna talk to y'all anyway. Um. You don't have to qualify your manhood. I'm going to say that again. You don't have to qualify your manhood. One more time. You don't have to qualify <laughs> your manhood. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to dress a certain way to be a man. You don't have to speak a certain way to be a man. You don't have to... You know what I'm saying? You don't have to... Like, your manhood isn't prededicated on what other people are saying. You know what I'm saying? It's the so, opposite. You know what I'm saying? You got a dick swinging between your legs. You're a man, damn it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be your own man. Yeah. Live how you want to live. Mm-hmm. In the confines of the law. <laughs> yeah, of, course, of course. Of course. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Without, you know. Within, within the, the confines, confines of the law. Of the law. Well, <laughs> within the confines of not harming anybody else. Because well, the law is kind of, I don't know. I wasn't there when they wrote that shit. Yeah, that shit's weird. I like to do some things niggas consider illegal, so fuck it. Whatever is in the confines <laughs> of, peop- of, of, of not harming anybody else. Not you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't have to be. You don't have to be no tough so, guy. If being a man means shooting up some heroin, well, damn it, don't bother nobody else while you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Be a man <laughs> about it. it. Be a man about be it. Do it. it. Come on, what's <laughs> the matter with you? Huh? <laughs> well, personally, I think being a man is just being the control of your own destiny. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying, don't let anyone else tell you. What to do. like you just said, what to do, how to do it. But well, what, that's, what, that's, what that's, that's not how being you, in control of your own destiny. That's commanding your emotions, commanding your thoughts for based on you know, whatever you feel. Tomato. But re, but really quick, how do you guys no, no, feel no, about how is that how, well, okay? How do, I don't know. how do you guys feel it sounds the same? Um <laughs> really quick, um, about gender roles and if if we have to Cause well, have to. Well, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm, because I'm like, that's another thing too. Because a lot of us don't feel like a man when we're not able to provide a certain way, or when we're not why? That's and why? And why is that? Hold up, I got this. So why is that? Why would someone not feel a certain way if they can't provide or because can't? As a as a man, um, society holds your value to how much money you have and your t- and how much um and your title. And what's deeper than that? You tell me it's deeper than that, so it's you're right, but the truth is like the man in general is the provider and the protector. Yeah, at the end of the day, and in these day and age, it could mean just accumulated wealth or mm. whatever it is. Um, but 
yeah, uh, you know, back in the day, men were hunters. Mm. They were, you know, gatherers. They, mm-hmm. you know, they, uh, they basically made sure everybody ate. They protected everyone, mm. and shit like that. They did like the work that required more brute strength or mm. whatever. And so that's how you get probably some of these societal norms. Like, well, he's just a guy. You got to let him be a guy because that's what he does. And mm. Shit like that, but. I lost where I was going, man. Shit, well, this short-term memory. Oh, you know, that, today. that brings Boy, up a good you, hold on, hold on, hold You on. just remind me, and women, stop stop doing this. Stop saying, um, oh, he's just a guy. Guys, just stop. Yeah. That irks no, me. No, no, everybody, not just women. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, in what context? Everybody does that. In what context? All, context cause they, in everything, because you see it in commercials, the husband's always the bubbling idiot. Yes. Or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, all guys are Peter. just into, into sex and sports or trying to generalize. Actually, Bundy. I just I just don't like generalizations in in the general. Rabbit off of so I guess <laughs> I guess that one I guess that one fit me. So I guess it, that's why it irks me. Stop generalizing. Yeah, stop. Yeah. But when it when it comes to the whole general thing, like it, that's just something different. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah that's I, all different. I, I believe what I believe in. I'm not gonna argue. Oh wait, you. that's <laughs> what I want to touch on. That's what I want to touch on. Gender roles. Yeah, ba- I mean, gender roles is. So do you do you feel like we need gender roles? Need them or like it's a positive thing to have in certain sense. All right, so what I was trying tell to say. Tell me why. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We hold shouldn't. Nigga, no, tell I'm me why. Answering you my you? question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Calm sorry, the my fuck bad. down. My bad, my bad. God. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, oh my god. Wow, dance. So pour some apologies. cold water on this guy. He's on fire. <laughs> 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 Oh, no. oh <laughs> fuck! I don't forgot what I was in the motherfucking. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no! I'm not I'm done. Kidding, kidding. All right, so all right, gender roles. Do we need them? That's a weird thing to say. All right, do we need them? I, I, I don't know. Formulate the question. I think. However I you think. Can I think gender roles are important. Gender roles to what they've become and how society says gender roles are supposed to be. If that makes hold on, hold on. Let me finish the thought. Mm. How gender roles are like what what they're supposed to be like a man is supposed to you know what, what's a positive provide, gender role i don't see anything wrong with the man being a provider and strong if that's what the woman likes mm. like it's all mm-hmm. about what those um what the partners what the two partners what the fuck am i trying to say <laughs> agree all, upon? All, yeah <laughs> it matters what the partners agree upon like what that person likes or doesn't like like yeah. if a woman doesn't feel like she wants to work and she does prefer to have time to raise children mm. that's her choice mm. but it has to be her choice mm. you know it has to be a discussion it's not like the dude is like well this is what i want my woman to do so what you gonna do no nah, like she has to say no nah, i'm cool with that and then if she decides hey i want to go work one day all right we'll make it work we're gonna figure out how you're gonna work and we're well, gonna take care of the kids like what what i believe is, as far as gender roles is may play into a certain physical traits mm. so the reason why the man was out providing was because physically you know majority of women obviously will come out with less muscle muscle mass they produce um estrogen more than testosterone shit like that so th- the man's role falls into this thing mm. of force or you know protecting providing and doing things that may take more energy mm. um or is more dangerous per se mm. and um so while i think that makes sense scientifically mm. the society at in general, for the most part, is not built that way anymore. Yeah. So then now we need to look at the current gender roles and how we feel about them, how they're treated, and say, well, is this appropriate given so, society now? Mm, so you so think that I might be archaic now? Some, yes. Mm. Probably most. Mm. But I haven't fully thought about this. why I'm not like... I'm not yeah. having a solid position on any particular roles or anything, but I do see where it makes sense. But mm-hmm. at the same time, just like anything, it needs a refresher. You need mm-hmm. to reevaluate shit. We're yeah. going off of gender roles from the fucking Stone Age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. Literally. <laughs> like, Hunter gatherer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like <laughs> a lot of it, a lot of it, like, a lot of it is a, a double edged sword when you think about like modernity. Because when you think about like chivalry and stuff like that, a lot of that came with. It's like yeah, man's supposed Protecting to do, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like yeah, man's supposed to protect, provide, and so and so. But then they they saw women as kind of less than. You know what I'm saying? They saw a grown woman walking in the street. You know, an official might ask her. You know, darling, you okay? You need to be extra. Like you know that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like she's a <laughs> like she's a child. You know what I'm saying? So with that, with women gaining more independence and not needing, because I've I've ran into. Well, 
like kind of situations where me trying to formulate my gender role, like, you know, um, oh, let me make sure you get to this place safely or trying, let me, you know, trying to, trying to be protective. I've gotten a little bit of like, I, I don't need you to be on me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know, type, type of thing. So what do we leave and what do we keep is pretty much. Oh, okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? When you put it like that, that that's a, I don't that's think there's anything wrong with breaking out of bare bones, helping mm. another human being. Yeah. Now, if you offer that help and they reject it, just leave yeah, it fine. at that. Leave it alone. Don't yeah. say, oh, she rejected it because she's a strong, independent female, mm. or she rejected it because da-da. It's just, mm. you want my help? No? Okay, boom. Mm. Leave it at that. It doesn't have to go that deep. Like people, I feel like people do that just, uh, just to create arguments for argument's sake. No, mm. it doesn't have to be that. Mm. Don't think I'm trying to help you because... I'm a I'm I'm trying to holler. I'm a creep or yeah, something. Yeah. No, I just see another human being. I've held doors open for men and women. Mm. I've helped men and women with their groceries. I've mm. done this. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't yeah. matter. You need help. I got you. Right, right. That's what I see that. Okay, I like right. that. So I digress. <laughs> I digress. So but, to to, to kind of yeah, just gotta wrap it up because our producer has a sword this time. Not a word, man. word, a katana. Shit, yeah. I see a gleaming. Ah. Word and a sickle. Sword. Shout out, who kid though? Who? <laughs> and shout out Boomaye. Uh, Hold it down where you at in that um, <laughs> undisclosed location. Word. Doing that undisclosed activity. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> Undisclosing. Word. Undisclosingly? Und- oh, wow. <laughs> English. <laughs> but um, yes, all in all, I guess just try to avoid just, you know, yeah, you know falling into not- societal norms about being a man. Just, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's. I don't know. You feel yeah. me, like? Yeah, you feel. I feel like <laughs> every time, every time, that was every a whole time, lot of you knows that you feel me. Right. <laughs> feel, oh man! I'm sorry, Can we some recap flaws. that, guys? Some, some, <laughs> sometimes at the end of an episode, I'd be like, "None of that made sense." Brain soup, <laughs> straight we, soup in your brain, dog. Right. Hey, shit. We more, just more toxic be masculinity. We, we made it to talk. the end. Yeah. I mean, all in all, in general. I think the most important thing to think of. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give the ending words here, guys. All right, I got this one. All right, <laughs> they're, pr- they're probably like, we get it. We get it. All in all, it's about you and perceiving how you affect the world around you. Mm-hmm. So you have to decide what the fuck you care about. And I said, what the fuck, because it was supposed to have some weight on it. Mm. You have to decide what? what the fuck you care about and what actions that you are doing. Right, right, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, the audience hyping us up. Woo! No, no. But um, you have to think about the actions that you're doing mm. and how they're affecting others around you. And do they line up with your ethics, your morals, mm-hmm. you know, everything you care about? If it doesn't make sense, then you're fucking lost. You don't know what you're doing. So think about it. But who is to say that it makes sense? What does it make sense to you? It has to make sense to you. Oh, okay. It has to make sense to you. Uh, more wormholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it may not them. make sense to other people, but... That's that's fine. Most people don't get what you're doing if you're doing what you care about first and foremost, not what everyone else is telling you to do within the no. confines of the law. So, I mean, like, don't go do some weird shit. Where? <laughs> so I guess. I well, what what's means. weird? What's so, weird? Like beat your meat on a bus. That's weird. So, <laughs> so I guess it all boils you down. You beat your meat on a bus. It's nature. Every. Uh, uh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Let's wrap up. I'm this trying to. I'm <laughs> trying to force the devil's advocate. <laughs> Word. Just just take away it's from stretch. everything I just said. But, um, just, it's, it's, it's no, but well put. Well put. Um, I guess it all boils down to being your own person, then, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever you think that person is. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whoever, whichsoever. <laughs> yeah. It's forth, forth, with. Forth, with. Per my last email. <laughs> <laughs> per my last email. But Please yes. advise. Young niggas. Yes, this has been another episode of Your Mama's Favorite Podcast. Word. The TPSG Podcast, a physics study group. <laughs> mm-hmm. And a quick little shout out to our studio audience. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. nobody gave a shit. Yeah. So they we're gonna do it again. Where? Shout out to our studio audience. <sighs> okay, that was you know what I'm saying we got we got the. This studio. is our fault. We didn't provide any red. Yeah, bills. we're gonna bring a new audience next you know week. I'm so I'm so we got the studio popping. We got the we got the plush couches for the audience. Oh and yes, for sure. and they still didn't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's all right. We gave <laughs> you Lima readers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all it's all right because you know why? Can't say that. 
You know why? We <laughs> gave you margarita beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said La Marita. Word. You need a hey, supply. Who can, margarita. Anytime we say La Marita, reverse it. So you'd be like, I'll bring it. And then you, you got you to put, put the the bad dub over on it. I'm, 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 we gave you margarita beers. beers. <laughs> well, he been stopped saying the word five seconds ago. Yeah. That's some BT shit. But anyway, we got to wrap this shit up, man. We should have been wrapping it up. You say that every episode. Every because oh, it's, okay. it's true. Because every episode we do another TPSG wild ass tangent. And with that, this has been Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Stallion the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka boop, boop. No More Ink. Stop the violence. <laughs> Big chill. <laughs> and it's Mr. Dramatic, aka Loud Pack Chopra, Wave Chappelle, Wavy McGrady, Black Galifianakis, and your mom's favorite. Not in a rude way, though. I'm just a very good young man <laughs> yeah. that helps with groceries or whatnot. So, yeah. And you know it's your boy, <laughs> Iceem Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. I don't know why the hell I laugh every time Sir Black Stallion says, Stop the violence. <laughs> a.k.a. Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Say your name. Yo, we need to make you the resident oh, Congo nigga. player or some shit, dog. <laughs> For real. Banging his table like this chick. On. <laughs> For oh real. my God. Man have every finger. Mm. <laughs> but yes, until Rasta next man. time. <laughs> until, until next, next time. time. Man up. Uh, but don't. Whatever that means. <laughs> whatever Wait, that means to you. Until next time, man up. How do you f- want to? X up. Because, you know, people, you know, not even genders anymore. Yeah, it's gone. It's, it's, it's How gone. about just up? Uh, Why uh, every time I got to say up. some shit, this nigga Jordan Maddie got to talk over a nigga, though? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Damn. You, you should fade him because you a so man. should fade that nigga right now. Hey, put this on TMZ, nigga. All right. All right. This episode is over. Who does that? No. Oh, it's been over. Now. I'm taking it's my been over. Off. When did we end it? That? I thought <laughs> we were when done. Who is going to edit this? He's like, how about that? I thought we...